Hey everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Today, we celebrate the feast day of Saints Marcellinus and Peter. Much like Saints Felicity and Perpetua, these two holy men were martyred together in the same place, and as a result, are often celebrated as a pair. Marcellinus and Peter were born sometime in the third century, though the exact dates are uncertain and their early lives remain a mystery. Most of the information we actually have regarding them comes from the records of Pope Saint Damasus, who learned of their story after their deaths and saw fit to commit it to writing. Marcellinus and Peter were both alive during the reign of Emperor Diocletian, whose persecution of Christians in that time was both widespread and merciless. The emperor made it a point to round up as many of the faithful as possible. A great number of those were tried in Roman courts and jailed. The story is similar for Marcellinus, a priest. Around the year 304, after he refused to renounce his faith, he was thrown in prison to await his fate along with many others. Among these prisoners was Peter, an exorcist. Together, the two of them spoke to their fellow prisoners and proclaimed Christ's teachings. They were admired by the imprisoned, a number of which were inspired to convert and ask for baptism. Peter and Marcellinus were having such a positive influence that their jailers saw it as a problem. It was decided that the judgment of these holy men would be prioritized. They were taken from the jail and tortured. But even in the face of great suffering, the joy they drew from their faith was not diminished. They were then quietly moved to a place known as Selva Nera, the Black Forest. There in the woods, they were forced to quite literally dig their own graves, which they did without fear or complaint. When they were finished, they were unceremoniously beheaded and buried. Their captors hoped that if nobody discovered what had happened to them, they wouldn't be celebrated as martyrs. It wasn't long, however, before a Roman woman named Lucia had a vision that revealed where Peter and Marcellinus were buried. She retrieved their remains and moved them so they would be remembered and venerated. The woods in which they were executed would later be renamed to Selva Candida, the White Forest, in honor of their martyrdom. The man tasked with carrying out their execution was also troubled by what he had done. Seeing how the two men remained joyful even before death, he was convinced that their faith was real and soon converted. In fact, it was thanks to the executioner's testimony that the saint's story was recorded at all. The fact that we know about Marcellinus and Peter is all at a testament to the fact that God desires for us to look up to holy men and women as examples to lead us. Without divine intervention, they would have been buried and forgotten by time, along with countless others condemned by Emperor Diocletian for keeping the faith. The hope that these two saints clung to in their final hours is the same hope that they give to those of us who remember them. That God sees all of our works, knows our struggles, and loves us, even when it seems like we're on our own. Saints Marcellinus and Peter, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint. Awaken the Saint is made in partnership by Spoke Street Media and Awaken Catholic.